Hello and welcome to Gildings. I'm Will Gilding and today we'll be taking a preview of a collection of bronzes by the artist Geoffrey Dashwood ahead of our fine art auction on the 6th of December. The auction will feature five bronzes from Dashwood's early career as a sculptor and between them you can see the evolution of his now signature style. All five come from a friend of the artist who's known Dashwood throughout his artistic career. In the early 1980s, as Dashwood transitioned from drawing and painting to sculpture, he adopted a very classical, naturalistic style, as seen here by the bust of the Roebuck deer. Very, very fine detailing of texture of the pelt and the antlers are extremely lifelike, as you can see, in the very dark brown bronze patina effect which is very common in classical sculpture uh, throughout the centuries of Western art. Moving on uh, through the works that we have here, we come to the wood pigeon, which is a little later, 1986. And you can see the clear distinction of the shedding of the naturalistic form. Still keeping the uh, life-size scale of his works, he's cut out a great deal of the detailing but you can still see a number of different layerings of the wings, the feathers of the wings, the wingtips and the tail feathers. Uh, and he's adopted a more mottled green tone in patina, which in an essence adds to the coloration, textures and variations that you see in the bird's natural feathers. Next, we come to a sculpture from 1988, which is this of the pintail duck. And of the five, this particular work from these sculptures really shows off Dashwood's experimentation with patina uh, at this stage of his career. It's a particularly elegant shape, uh, as you see, coming down into the tail feathers. The Barn Owl from 1988 is another work that you can really see Dashwood's skill in capturing each individual subject's very nature. Dashwood is a great achiever of motion in cast bronze. His works are never shown of birds in flight or in a particular motion, and yet he achieves that sense of anticipation quite majestically. Owls are always particular favourite subject matter, uh, as seen when we offered the last collection of Dashwoods here at Gildings in our fine art sale last April. And it was there that another barn owl sculpture fetched the artist's record auction price of £14,000. Finally, we come to the Tawny Owl, a work from 1990. And again, you can see the artist has really pared back the detailing in the feathers. But the form is still unmistakably that of the Tawny Owl. Head turned, perched again on the cylindrical column base. Again, the patina here is that almost reminiscent of stone, the very mottled effect replicating the tones, textures, colors of the bird's feathers. Dashwood's handling of form and patination colour has resulted in a very contemporary style.